Hi, I'm Michaela, and welcome to my plant channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you what I do when I can't get a plant cutting to root. Um, cause you've probably had that happen before. It's probably a Monstera Peru, but I don't have any Monstera Peru today. But anyway, like you take a cutting and some of them, or take a cutting or a series of cuttings and some of them will root just fine, but then others just won't for like months and months. So rather than just throw it away, there's a few things that you can do to kind of hopefully encourage it to root because I mean, if you're probably gonna lose it anyway, what's the harm? So I'll just show you what I usually do when I have that happen. So the first one, this is a philodendron quellii, quellii round. And yeah, it isn't rooting at all. And the new growth point is rotten. So I'm gonna just cut that off so it doesn't spread. And it's already produced a new growth point, so I'm not worried about that being an issue. It's hard to like cut it down here. Oh, I hope you can see this. The other thing I'm gonna do is just cut a little bit more of the stem off and let it callous. Oh, and dang, I have my phone out here to record it closer up so you can actually see what I'm doing, but then I didn't turn it on next time. And when you're messing with rot, Sterilize your tools and your hands too. You can't really overdo it with that, but it'll spread so easily through tools. So just make sure and sterilize your tools. And I have on really, really squeaky shoes today. So if you hear some squeaky shoe sounds, it's me, obviously. Okay. I've sat down to film this video four times this week and I'm just, I'm not feeling very filmy this week. So um, we'll, we'll see how this turns out. It'll probably be pretty weird, but you know, I'm pretty weird. So it's, it suits me. Oh God, I have to press record, good grief. I am struggling today. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so now I have some Monstera Standaliana Albo, and these are not rooting and the leaves have started to curl up. And this is, other than Monstera Peru, probably one of the most difficult plants to root, for me anyway. So it is not surprising that this is in this video. Yep, no roots. And I'm just going to cut a little bit of the stem off for some aeration. And I'm gonna let it callous. You can also use um, an air stone. I don't have one and I'm just, I'm just wanting to use stuff that I have at this time. 
So if you have something like that or wanna buy one, I've heard really great things about that with cuttings that won't root. So this one, I don't think there's gonna be enough stem on here. Oh, oh. So in the time that I have identified this as a plant that's not rooting and put it aside for this video, we have roots on this little Jose Blomo cutting. That is exciting. So I'm just going to put him back and he's just gonna go back in the greenhouse. It looked really questionable because of the leaves being curled. So I'm really happy to see those little roots. Oh, you know what? I think in the time I picked this one out as something that wouldn't root, it started to root also. How funny is that? Um, this cutting is a, this is a top cutting of my silver sword philodendron. I took this in like July and yeah, in the week that I decided it wasn't rooting and brought it inside, set it aside for this, it started to root. Okay. And now I have this Amedrium silver cutting. be such a boring video because now this has roots too. Kidding. All right, I'll just put this back in here too. Oh, I have a, huh, yeah, okay. All right, this does have some roots, but it also has some rot, so that's not part of this video. You see why I've had to try this four different times I'm just struggling generally struggling okay so these gloriosum I noticed that they're like really droopy and the top of this flugel had mold on it so that's pretty gross and it is not rooting. So I'm gonna remove that. And this one is just a stump. It does have some rootage. I didn't press record, did I? But it also has some moldage. So we're gonna clean that up. And I'm gonna see if I can maybe somehow sterilize and reuse this. Okay, so I've cleaned up the Gloriosum and the little, the bottom cutting chunk thing, I'm going to put it in perlite. And this part, I'm going to cut it up so we have more opportunities to get some roots. Also, I want to scrape that stem off of there. I figure the less dead stuff on here, the better. So, this is what I'm doing here. So just like where this leaf fell off and it left a little bit of stem that is now rotting, I'm just scraping it off. got the really dead stuff off. Okay. 
Now, trying to figure out what to do with this. The ticket is going to be cutting it, that was already the plan, but how to cut it since it's so close together like this. Ooh, yeah, I really don't have much room there. Okay. So I'm just going to let all of that stuff callous for this. I'm going to go ahead and stick this in perlite and I will be right back. Okay, so it is the next day and I'm going to be speaking pretty quietly because my husband is taking a nap. Okay, and this is going to be surprising considering how much I talk about that I hate Leca, but we're going to be putting... Uh, these two Monstera Standaliana Albo in there with a Golden Pothos cutting along with some Super Thrive water. I've had really good luck with that in the past. The philodendron, it's not a tenu, but I want to call it a tenu. I think I'm going to put that one in perlite also with the golden pothos. some cuttings. I think I'm going to put them in perlite as well. But I want a different container. substrate's not working. Can't hurt to try a different one, so we'll see. The weird thing is like, I don't know, the leaves are like floppy, but they haven't really yellowed, so I think there's still a chance. Okay, so I'll be keeping you posted on how these do. Okay, so it is about two and a half weeks later. Yeah, two and a half weeks later, we're here with the cuttings that were not rooting and I'm just gonna pull them out and see what, if anything, they have done. Uh, so I'm gonna start with this one. I could be wrong, but I think that the leaves have flattened out a little bit. I may be wrong. No roots yet. I wonder if the golden photos has any roots. Nope. Nothing yet. I'll come back to that. Okay, and the Quellii round, I think is what this is. Okay, cool beans. Yeah, we have 
a definite root here and the leaf is starting to come out. Okay, and this may also be my imagination, but I think that these leaves have perked up a little bit. If nothing else, they have started to die a little bit more slowly. So we'll just, we'll see what's going on. Nothing here. And nothing here. So this isn't quite the update that I was hoping it was going to be, but we'll just give it a little bit more time. See what happens. Okay, so this is gonna be my final check-in on these plants for this video. I think it's been an additional two weeks since I checked them prior. And yeah, we're just gonna see what's going on. So this is the philodendron quellii round. And yeah, that has some really good roots. So I'm gonna put this into soil probably today. I would call that one a success and it's getting a new leaf that's about to unfurl. Okay, so the next one is the Monstera Standaliana. Okay, so this cutting has no roots. And this one has a little fuzzy root and a growth point. Okay, and then the Gloriosum, one of the two Gloriosums. So yeah, this one has a really good root on it. I'm gonna keep it rooting in perlite for a little bit longer. And the last Gloriosum, it has even better roots, so. Okay, so hopefully this wasn't too confusing a video to watch. I'll see what happens to it when I start editing it. It kind of felt like it was all over the place, but I don't know. But I would call these a success. Um, yeah, there's just the one Standaliana that did not root yet, but I have had cuttings that didn't root for like six months and then one day they just suddenly rooted. So I guess what I'm trying to convey in this video is don't give up on a cutting until it is mush because it might come back, you never know. And there's just really easy things you can do to help them along without spending tons of money with probably just stuff that you already have, like a golden pothos and some perlite. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful for you and hopefully you're able to get a cutting to root with some of this stuff. And thank you so much for watching. And I've had so many nice comments on my videos lately and I want you to know that I really appreciate them. They make my day and thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.